there was a photograph making the rounds of the web, which I'm not going to show you for this purpose because that's not the exact subject of this video as you might imagine if you clicked on it, but it has to set up, I have to set up this story. At any rate, the photograph shows NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell at Bob Kraft's house, Robert Kraft, the owner of the New England Patriots, just before the AFC Championship game where the Patriots beat the Colts. Now, Richard Sherman says that is evidence of a conflict of interest, and it means that there will no be no real punishment in the whole deflate gate scandal. Now, he alleges there's this cozy relationship, and basically he does have a point, given the politics of the league, as well as long-standing relationships. However, that didn't stop Julie Bueller from challenging him at Super Bowl Media Day. And Julie is a friend of mine, actually a good friend, and I even managed to guest host her radio show two years ago after she lost the bet to me. Julie has a, a Sarah Palin-ish way of arguing. And in fact, actually, she's better than Sarah Palin, so I'm not going to give her that. But my point is that she will argue in a way that's bullheaded, right or wrong. I admire the fact that she did it, uh, in part because she's my friend, in part because I think it's cool that she did it. In, anyway, let me explain uh, where they were in relation to each other here. This is Julie, as captured by uh, John Crick, who is the only guy who actually, and that's Julie right there, with her selfie stick. And then this is uh, Richard Sherman. Now, the exchange wasn't even caught by the recorders working for the NFL who post the transcript at NFLmedia.com, so it didn't get re widely reported at all. Well, it did get widely reported, but not as widely reported as it could have been. What happened was Julie took issue with Richard Sherman's charge that there was this conflict of interest and in, uh, in this kind of collusion, and so as a result, took him on. Here's how it went, okay? Bueller. Don't imagine me looking like Julie. She looks much better than I do. Crafts, just is what Julie says. Crafts said that you didn't know enough about that situation. So how much care do you put into your own research for you to state publicly that the commissioner of the NFL has a conflict of interest? Sherman, mm, it's not that difficult for me to research. Bueller, did you do any research? Sherman. I obviously did. Bueller, but you were incorrect about that. <laughs> Sherman, in which way was I incorrect? Bueller, you saying Goodell and Kraft have a conflict of interest is like you and current New England Patriots quarterback and former Seattle Seahawks Brandon Brown are not being able to talk as former teammates. Sherman, that's a little different. Bueller, how so? Sherman, I don't work for Brandon Browner. Bueller, brief pause. Sherman, you don't have anything else? <laughs> That's kind of funny. Bueller, oh no, I do. I wonder how much research you do. Sherman, but you never answered my... You never continued our discussion. You never concluded that. So I didn't work for Brandon Browner, so the point is invalid. Bueller, well, it's not invalid. There are only 32 owners and hanging out with an owner doesn't mean there's impropriety. Just like you hanging out with a competitor at the Super Bowl doesn't mean there's impropriety. She's got a great point there. Sherman, I don't work for my, I don't work for the competition. I don't get to impose discipline on the competitor. Bueller, but you stated that there is a level of impropriety in hanging out. It isn't accurate. Sherman, how many other owners has he hung out with, has he had dinner at his house, and took pictures with? Goodell, in Audible, sounds... Sherman says this. Goodell, in Audible, sounds like he has a lot of friends. Excuse me. Bueller says... Bueller says Goodell has, like, a lot of friends. It sounded like that. Apparently, the, the guy writing this couldn't quite make out what Julie was saying. And then Sherman says to Julie, Have you done your research? And Bueller says, absolutely. Sherman, no you haven't. You just came up knee-jerk and said that. Come off it. Whoa. And so, then Sherman says, 
Come on, come on. Who was the first person to call Roger Goodell? Come on, give it to me. Give it to me. You're not doing your research. It. I can't have a discussion with someone who has no information. You don't have any information. I have all the research. I'm doing your job for you. You're making it difficult to have a discussion. <laughs> was Kraft the first person to call Roger Goodell to talk about the Ray Rice situation, or wasn't he? Bueller, no, he wasn't. Sherman, he wasn't? You know that? Did you do your research? Come on, did you do your research? I wish this could be a better debate, but the levels are there for you. <laughs> and with that, <laughs> Sherman took another question. <laughs> It's a good media blow up for Julie. I, you know, I, I really, I, yeah, she has kind of a point, but as a person who has done business with the NFL, has, has known NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell for some time, and has attended a number of NFL owners' meetings, including Buckhead last year in Atlanta, let me explain it from a different way. The NFL Commissioner serves at the pleasure of the owners. And he has to maintain a great relationship with them. Whether it was Paul Tagliabu or Pete Rozelle before him or currently Roger Goodell, the main primary role of the commissioner is to have a great relationship with the owner. Yes, that means attending dinner at that owner's house. Yes, that means occasionally taking on that owner in public, but in a way that is respectful. The, the National Football League is a team, and it's a hub-and-spoke system, and the hub of the spokes is the commissioner. The spokes connect to the owner. So the kind of exchange that Richard Sherman alleges is collusion is simply, well, part of the way the NFL works. It's relationships. It's relationship building. Would it lead to an outcome that is perhaps less than desirable in, in, from his perspective regarding debate gate? Yes. Absolutely. Is that a conflict of interest? No. So both he and Julie are right.